It's been such global news, you know, it's truly taken me by surprise and I guess a real insight to being part of a brand like Arsenal Football Club with the following that it has. And you know, like you said, Ian Wright tweeting, um, he, he sent me an, an inbox on Instagram as well. And, um, you know, which is, is nice coming from a legend like him of the game and obviously a legend of the, the club as well. I, I mean, I'm a living example that dreams do come true. So, you know, if they're willing to put in the work and give absolutely everything of themselves, then I'm an example that, you know, you, you, you can achieve your dreams and reach your dreams. So uh, I actually, I made a phone call to, um, to Tim Cahill also, uh, you know, me with my ambition wanting to stay at the highest level and at the top of the game, knowing how respected he is within the game. I just said to him, uh, if he felt it was worthwhile or if, if he thought, you know, I had what it takes to, you know, be a, obviously a, a Premier League goalkeeper playing at a, at a club, I just asked if he could, um, you know, listen out to hear if there was anyone looking around for a goalkeeper and if he thought I was worthy of mentioning, perhaps maybe he could, yeah, just bring me up as a, you know, as a potential target, perhaps if someone was looking. And I think he was probably the one who planted the seed in uh, Mikel Arteta's mind. Uh, I always like to have information with players, with coaches that uh, I've spent time with them and uh, I got a really positive uh, feedback from the team as well as other people and uh, obviously when you have reliable sources uh, you feel much more confidence to make uh, any decision. Over a year ago now, I think it was uh, Jordan away, wasn't it? I think the last time we were together. Ever since that camp finishes, I'm always looking forward to the next one. But, you know, it just goes to show you can never take a, you know, a football match for your country for granted because you never know how long it will be until the next one. So, uh, you know, Mitch has had a great year in Japan and the record that he's, he's broken and his form and you know, Vukaroso, you got Lawrence Thomas as well playing in Denmark now quite regularly. There's a number of guys domestically as well in Australia uh, that um, are more than capable as well. It's been a position that we've always had quite a lot of depth in. So um, ultimately, at the end of the day, I'll just continue to keep pushing myself as best I can. And, you know, ultimately having all that competition, it's only going to make whoever gets the nod for the country, you know, out there to be at the top of the game to help our great country perform the best we can. So, uh, you know, good competition is, um, is needed. And, you know, you look at all the great teams around the world, they, they all have that in every spot and that, that's what makes them so strong. So uh, bring out the best in everyone and, um, you know, it's healthy competition.